इट्स मी भुवन एंड आई एम बैक विद द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम टू गिव यू द डावर्स डेली अलॉन्ग साइड माई फ्रेंड प्राजुक्ता With everyone stuck online, you're in the best place to watch the best moments of this year's Davos agenda. Here you go. What this pandemic has done is not simply expose the structural inequalities in our society; it's exacerbated them as well. And what do I mean by that? If you're a black male Londoner, you're four times more likely to have lost your life than if you're a white male Londoner. If you're a mother, you're fifty percent more likely to have lost your job than if you're a father. If we're not careful, we could undo thirty years of progress made around gender equality. Oxfam is at Davos, as you say, this year with new data. It shows that we risk facing the greatest rise in inequality since records began, and it could take more than a decade for billions of people to recover from the economic hit of the pandemic. While at the very top, just ten billionaires, all men, have seen their wealth skyrocket by half a trillion dollars since March. That could have paid to vaccinate the world and prevent anyone from being pushed into poverty by the pandemic. We need to ensure these kind of technological benefits help us all. and the development of a covid vaccine is just another example it is a moral duty to treat the vaccine as a global public good that ensures that low income and poor countries are not left at the end of the waiting line as high income countries buy the majority of the most promising vaccines thankfully gavi has been working to make sure that it's not just the rich who see the benefits of this vaccine We ended up with 190 countries coming together to work together on this, which shows the importance of solidarity because we're only safe if if everyone is safe. And it's about time that we all put the same energy into stopping climate change. The pandemic, of course, is taking a terrible toll on lives and livelihoods, and against the backdrop of the climate crisis, so we do need to move to a phase of healing people and the planet, so that we come out of this on the right side of history. The whole world has to come to this table to solve the problem. We rejoin the international climate effort with humility and ambition. Humility because we know we've wasted four years in which we were inexcusably absent. And not just these issues, we also have to be very conscious about racial, religious, and sexual discrimination. We must recognize that the challenge of white supremacy is real. Patriarchy is real in our capitalist systems, and if we want a more just recovery, we have to acknowledge that before coronavirus, there was a world. That world is over. That was just the tip of the iceberg. So if you want to hear more about how the world's changing from the people in the driving seat, then check out the website and subscribe to the channel. There's hours of discussions, highlights and more at your fingertips. And in case you're wondering how Bhuvan and I fit in, it's because these issues impact all of us and it's important that we use our platforms to reach as many people as possible. So please spread the word.